What is going on, y'all, and welcome back to the channel. I am your host, Unknown Factions, and thank you for joining me for some more Valheim. And today, I shall be showing you 10 more tricks that you did not know how to do in Valheim, or hopefully, at least you don't know some of them, so somebody can gain some knowledge out of this video. Now, first, if you're new here, please do consider subscribing, as I am always cranking out Valheim content, and always smash the like button so your boy can get a little promotion. Both are greatly appreciated. Now, for today's video, I'm going to kick it off nice and simple with an overlooked feature, starting with the pathin on the hoe. Now, in Valheim, you'll notice this grass can be so troublesome, and it clips through everything, floors, stone, and the leveling feature of the hoe is so wide, and same with the cultivate, but don't forget that you can use the pathin to perfectly edge structures, fields, fences, and you know, once you get used to it, looking at like the inner ring, you can see like right there in the middle is the spot that you're looking for. You know, as you see what I'm doing right here, just kind of measuring it with like the medium shaped circle is going to be about what you're going to hit. But moving on, next we have the indoor aquarium. Yes, I know this is a creative one, but still a must mention. You can spawn fish into the hot tub and they are untouchable. I just wouldn't recommend doing the tunas because they always seem to just jump out unless you want to case it in. And next, we have the awesome tabletop decor. Now, this right here is made by using the upgrade for the cauldron. Now, you place a cauldron, and then you're going to knock the floor out, slide it down enough to where you can get the pans in the bottom for a little pan cupboard, and then you can put one-by-ones over the top to clip the cups, the bowls, the plates, and whatnot, making beautiful, legit tabletop decor. Next, I know this is an old one, but it seems like people forget that you can use fireworks in Valheim. Now, if you throw Sertling cores into a bonfire, you will get this awesome shoot off like a mortar or a Roman candle. And you can do a whole bunch at the same time, so you get a whole bunch of explosions. And it makes me wonder if there's more items that you can toss into things for effect. So, be wary, keep on the lookout. And next, did you know that you can write on signs make billboards with our nice neon colored elements now you see i'm using blue mushrooms yellow mushrooms and sertling cords to write welcome to the arena at our new awesome coliseum that narwhal and hilda built now it's made real easy just space out the item stands pick whatever color you want and then kind of play with it a little bit you know like the ease i got better as i went along like the ease on the first word were kind of wonky but then by the end it was coming out beautiful Moving on to a more glitchy style trick, if you're using the forge, all you have to do is equip a weapon and you will start forging with whatever you equip. So if you wanted to sit there and craft with a pickaxe or, you know, your crystal battle axe, I know, a useless trick, but it makes your friends laugh if you just throw on a crystal battle axe while y'all are all sitting around forging. <laughs> I know it made me laugh the first time. But, moving on to a more useful tip, did you know if you put down a couple pieces of core wood inside your boat hall, you know, or I mean your boat room or your docks, wherever you got it, you just make this simple little 90 degree angle like this, and you can spawn carts off of this. Now what I would do is take all my cart materials with me to wherever I was going, going and do this as needed, but just for demonstration, you know, I'm going to take it and I'm just going to throw a whole bunch of random items in this because you could make the boxes beforehand if you didn't want to take all the materials with you. So all you have to do is just put a whole bunch of random stuff inside them to make it spawn chests and then we're going to destroy the carts themselves and get the chests and kind of pile them up away from the sides that way we don't have to worry about them getting damaged because if they hit the sides of the boat they're going to start breaking and the boat's going to start damaging so you know keep them tight don't push them all the way to the end i made that mistake a few times where i would go ahead and i would just push all the carts as far up as i can trying to get a ton of them just keep piling them on top of each other because them touching each other is not going to damage so boom, there you have it. An easy way to get infinite storage on your boat. Now just be careful before if you spawn in like too many because when you're going on the waves, you know, you get tossed around. You're going to lose crates. You're going to get damaged. So, I mean, moderation is key here, folks. But moving on to a more cosmetic design, we have the beautiful sawmill made out of the grindstone, the forge upgrade, and of course a little wood frame, and you just push a log up on there. Now Narwhal made this on our community server at the House of Hilda right here. Now this is awesome, I love it, I had never seen it before, and I felt it was so good that I needed to share it. And I think the only thing missing in that scene right there is a chopping block. 
and maybe a nice little covered awning in or on it and a little ramp you know to push him up on and then you would have the complete feel of course it wouldn't be functional but it still would look beautiful but moving on to another more useful trick we have these stackable kilns and charcoal smelt i mean stackable kilns and smelters pardon me now this is really easy and yes they do get choked out if you get them too close but if you can clip them just right it will avoid all principles now what we're going to do right here is make a little t out of iron cage and we're going to go ahead and put a charcoal kiln up here and we're going to make sure that it's touching the stone just slightly because we're going to remove the cage next leaving one piece of cage in there holding it up but it will appear floating now i thought i had a floating kiln over there in my portal house turns out that i left a piece of iron in it like a dummy yeah so i'm over here i'm like oh bro, i just broke the game yeah just really i'm just building but utilizing this we can stack charcoal kilns now this is very handy if you're a single player you know you just want to make a sufficient number of coal at a time and you don't need a whole refinery you can just stack two like this and you know crank out a ton of coal when need be and for my last trick we have the spawn blocker now this is a common question that i get all the time now this is the most cost efficient way and it saves your instance rate and fps by using the hoe and a campfire you can place it and then get you on a little bit of higher ground from where you place your campfire and use your hoe to level and you will not add rock to it and create another block you will only cover it up and then of course the frames won't raise up because you don't have to keep refilling these torches all over the place so that is a win-win and good for everybody so hypothetically too you could do an entire island like this you could grid out you know a small island and bury it every 20 meters and you would never get any spawns on your island ever again it would only have a slight effect you know probably less of effect than doing all the defenses needed to keep the mobs away but i hope you guys got something from the video if you did please do hit that like button and comment down below and tell me what it is that you learned i am curious to know and also don't forget to subscribe and help me get to my goal of 5k we are on the road baby oh and what's that you want to show your support to the unknown factions youtube channel check out the memberships down below with exclusive perks and offers of course for everybody so go check it out and i will catch you folks in the next one